Okay, welcome to this Christmas Eve edition of our little video series here that we're doing. And I've, it's been a while since we got to do one, and, and so I wanted to work on some of these. And um, trying to help some of you with, with your Netherland Dwarfs and how to get them to pose. And getting a Netherland Dwarf to pose is it just takes a little bit of practice the rabbit has to have decent quality type to do that today i've got a, a little black tort who is very keen on checking everything out this is a youngster he he's he's almost a young adult now but he's got pretty color but let me get him to calm down a little bit but to evaluate these guys you really got to get them to pose and, and get them to sit naturally and be be calmed down a little bit so the easiest way, especially when they're they're keyed up, so get those front feet. Well, I know you want to look around, my little guy, but you were just posing just a minute ago, so let's calm down. He's getting to that age where the hormones are starting to kick in a little bit, and so now that we're on, we're actually live. We're not going to do that. You're sitting way too high, buddy. Come on because he's curious about what we're doing. But this is a black tort. Um, he, he actually is a very nicely colored black tort. Um, the, the rabbit is, uh, like I say, he's not quite a senior yet. He's, he's, calm down. So here we go. We got him calmed down a little bit. We're going to get him posed up here and looking looking good now you'll notice how his his top line is a little he's leaning back a little bit so I, I really want to get those legs out a little bit so it, it's not he's wanting to, to stand up on his hindquarters and look around because he's he's wanting to do that and and be just a cute little guy which you won't be able to really see come on relax you're gonna just have to work with these guys let me Get him set up here again. Oh, don't be a fussy. So what you're going to need to do is just be patient. That's one thing that you got to have with these Netherland Dwarfs. You really just got to be patient. Just kind of get him to kind of chill out just for a moment. He's got a gorgeous little top line to him, a very nice headset. He's still not really posed like I want him to pose. He needs to relax just a little bit more. The back feet need to be in line and square on the table. You'll notice he has a, a very nice smooth curvature. A lot of times what you'll see is some flat spotting back here. So when a judge says he's got a little bit of a flat spot over the hip, you're going to see that right here. But he has a very nice consistent top line to this rabbit. He's got a very nice thick ear on him. Great headset. And that is really what you want in posing your Netherland Doris right there. He's just an exceptional rabbit, very full to the table. As you'll notice, you don't see any, any light underneath him coming through. So he's just, you can get him posed up too high like he's wanting to sit here. And so what happens is it makes him look really fast over that hip. It's a real common thing in Netherlands. You, you, people want to raise those heads up way too high. And so just, you don't see it in judges so much raising that head too high, but we do see it in people posing them, you know, for to 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 uh, post them for sale or whatever. They're just they're just posed way too high for the rabbit. Uh, it's just not a natural position for these guys. Um, come on, calm down. You can kind of wiggle them back and forth a little bit. That just kind of helps relax them a little. Again, get them set, get them posed. We got a nice, nice top line here. His ears are open, well rounded at the tip, which a lot of times you'll see them folded or a little pointy or they're too long. He's got very nice balance. The rabbit has nice balance between his head and his body. And this and this is a natural pose for the rabbit. You can underpose these rabbits by holding them their heads down and actually kind of scrunching them and, and it just really you just don't you'll get a very flat top line uh, you know they just don't pose well a, a properly built Netherland will not will not 
want to sit that way. And that's one thing I like about this little guy is, is, is he's been worked with so much on getting that pose just spot on. And as he nears adulthood, he's going to continue to fill out. He's very straight front to back. He's got good with the head. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to turn him so that you can kind of see more. And I'm going to try to pose him up so you can see for, from the front what I mean by straight. You know, if I can get him in line here. There we go. So he's not really in his position. He just wants to, to sit too high. Come on. I know. You want to go find girlfriends. It's one thing about working with these. They just, they just take a little bit of patience. Just relax. Relax. You know, it's kind of like, you know, what you see in Happy. You just, just you know, just got to relax. Just kind of work with them. But you can see here, he's he's straight front to back. He's got, you know, really good bone in those front limbs, but not too excessive. If you get too excessive, then you're going to start getting these skeletal uh, bones in the body that are just, just too big, which they're just too heavy in the frame. Um, and that's one thing you're going to find in Netherland Dwarf. A lot of rabbits on the table are just overweight. Uh, the maximum weight for show in this breed is two and a half pounds. So that's two pounds, eight ounces. Um, and, and so what that, that means is, is if once they, they start getting to that two pounds, nine ounces, they'll usually give you a little bit of an ounce, especially if they've been eating and drinking properly while they're at the show. Uh, you'll, you'll see see rabbits that are an ounce over, and they're going to usually give you a little bit of, of, of flexibility there. However, when you start seeing rabbits on the table that are two pounds, 13 ounces and 12 ounces, they're considerably overweight. They're never going to be two and a half pounds or the two pounds, eight ounces. They're just not going to be. And, and it just, it's really up to the judge whether they're going to be weighed that day or not. If they get weighed, they're going to get disqualified. And, it's, and it, we've come across this number of times where we will have a, a perfect weight on the table, a good quality rabbit. Uh, a bigger rabbit beats ours just because it's just a little bit bigger and a little wider in the head. Um, just a bigger rabbit overall. And what ends up happening is that rabbit, uh, you know, will get disqualified in another show under another judge. And it, it had no reason to be on the table because it's, you know, three or four pounds, uh, three or four ounces overweight. And so, you know, these little, little guys, it's just a real balancing act between trying to get the body right. Got a little graphic I'll, I'll share with you guys, and that way you can kind of get an idea of what. Um, so we've got this little graphic here. Let's see if I can make that just a tad bigger so you can probably see it a little better. So, all right, there we go. So, what we have here is a Netherland dwarf. And really the kind of the body type that you want. You want a nice top line to that rabbit. You want a nice well-rounded uh, head to the rabbit. You want a nice open and well-rounded ear, short ear. Um, and you look at the points at, that you are going to be getting with, your, with, with judging. Um, you'll notice that 35 points is strictly for the body of the rabbit. And that's going to be your top line, your shoulder, the width, its bone, you know, it's how full to the table it is. You're going to have another five points for the eye, you know, making sure that there's no cataracts. Also making sure that it's uh, the proper color. You're also going to have some points on the ear. They need to be short, thick, and rounded, but not, you, don't, you want a nice balanced ear. You don't want too thick on the ear. Uh, you know, the, the, the fur, you're going to get uh, looks 10 points for that. You're, you want good width of the head. That's worth 15 points. You want, you know, it needs to be bold and well-rounded. You don't get any points for the tail, but it does need to be well-furred and proportional to the body. And then just the overall condition of the rabbit, meaning all the toenails need to be the same color. And I'll go ahead and take this off of here. For you guys 
so you can we're back to our screen Torrid is just a difficult color and and you should have a nice rich color for the top of the rabbit and then on the flanks here you want to have that that nice torch shading right there and he's leaning back just a little bit calm down you're doing a good job nice well-rounded properly posed Netherland dwarf and again this is just a junior but he is absolutely fantastic so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another rabbit and uh, we'll, we'll look at that one. It's an evaluation of what we have. Um, another doe that we have that's not quite as nice as him. And, and, and I'll show you why. Okay, so what we had there just a moment ago was a, a tort, a black tort. Now this is a, a young chestnut doe, and this young chestnut, she, she's, she's, she is a, uh, coming up on being an adult here very quickly, and she is just not wanting to cooperate. But, come on, calm down. This is where you just, you just got to have patience. One thing with any kind of opposing, you got to have patience, and especially on this in front of the camera. Apparently, everybody is camera shy. One thing I can do to calm them down is, is flip them over and just kind of blow into their their face. But she's not really wanting to have a whole lot of this. For whatever reason tonight. All right, well, calm down. I'll show you from the back side, just right here, just just to give you an idea. She's again got that nice straight front to back width all the way through. Um, again, good quality fur, and she is just being a fussy girl. Part of that is hormones. Part of that is hormones. She is definitely just a hormonal girl. Here in the last couple weeks, she started to show signs of that. Again, we have a very massive body on her. Great top line. She does come in just a little bit here. But again, we have nice balance overall the rabbit. I would like to see a little more width in her head, but she's she only comes in at two pounds, uh, four ounces right now, since she's almost an adult. So she's going to to continue to improve. But again, a very nice chestnut doe, and this is out of Cletus. Uh, he's he is this girl has really started to pop in the last two to three weeks, and anyway, she calms down a little bit. She really can just be a beautiful chestnut doe. Again, I really love the top line. And really, I don't, I think she's filled out a little bit more. Uh, again, she's, she's just a little, little tense. But this doe has got a little bit more fold in her ears. And she's a little bit more pointed in those ears. But they, they're well placement of the ear. Great top line, great body structure. She could stand just to be posed a little higher, just a tad, just to give it a little bit more fullness. And that is how you pose another. And you saw just a moment ago just how fussy she was being. You just have to be patient with them. Be very patient. Work with them. They'll pose. If they have the body structure, they will naturally want to do this. They will naturally want to pose. If they do not have the body structure, 
they are just not going to. And and that's what I think is really important in in these Netherlands. When we first got into them, very narrow in this front shoulder, and it just they just not very they're not going to be competitive. They're not going to be competitive. And this this is just an absolute gorgeous doe. I love her. Only I only fault her as right say up to this point that shows is her head just doesn't quite fit the width of her body just uh, up to the, about this this week. But again, each line, each way, each common breeding, whatever you choose to do, there's going to be some variance in what develops at different times. And so you might not see the head actually get to its full size until later on when the doe um, or buck has has reached that age where that that trait is becomes more expressed and again here we are with a, a beautiful chest I actually almost think that this little doe here is better than Cletus I, I just love this doe she just has such mass in that body and and that makes it so much fun is when you can start to see some of the reward from some of the things that you've been doing over the years and you finally start to see rabbits uh, posed properly. That is a properly posed Netherland dwarf. I'm going to go out and I'm going to show you a youngster that I've been working with for uh, two to three weeks and that way you can get an idea of, of how these youngsters how we work with the youngsters because I can I can put show rabbits on the table all day long. Um, that's not really going to show you how to, to really get them to pose. So give me about two seconds, I'll go get that one. Okay, so what we have here, this is a, a young one. This one's eight, uh, seven, seven weeks old. And so this is a Netherland dwarf again. And the, you might wonder, want to call that color a smoke pearl. It is not a smoke pearl. And the reason we know it's not a smoke pearl is you can notice here we've got some dark on the nose. We've also got white right here under the chin, and we have a white belly. The smoke pearl will not have those things. So what this one is is actually a smoke pearl martin. You do not see a lot of these. Uh, it's a color that is one of our favorites, and by far one that, that we've put ourselves in position to finally get them. Uh, it takes... It's a very recessive color. Uh, it takes a little bit of patience to get it. And you're not going to produce, generally, you're not going to produce full litters of these guys. And, and this is just a youngster I've been working with for a couple weeks. Again, I'm very happy with the overall body type of this, this Martin, or Smoke Pearl Martin. We're still a lot of curiosity. And, and so you have to kind of let the rabbit just kind of calm down to what you're wanting it to do. Again, we're not, we're still, still young. We're like, I don't know why I'm up here. I want to go explore. You know, sometimes you have to let them sit up here for five or 10 minutes just to, just to calm down for a minute. But a smoke pearl martin uh, is one of our favorites. Again, I just kind of gently am, am trying to lead this guy in the right direction. I'm trying to lead this guy in the right direction. I don't need perfection. Now, he doesn't need to sit there and hold it for extended periods of time. It that, that will come with practice. And that will come with age as the rabbit continues to grow. But the main things that I look for in these youngsters is, again, I'm looking at the ears. I'm looking at the ears. I'm looking at that head being the width of the body. 
I'm looking for narrowness in the shoulder. I'm also checking the rabbit for uh, the toenails to make sure they are all at least the same color. Uh, they, they really want them dark. Um, but but if, as long as they're all the same color, they're, they're, they usually uh, won't, won't say a whole lot. But they should be, they, they want them dark. But this guy has all his toenail colors are proper coloration. And now we're getting excited about about playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to relax him down. Again, just kind of give him a nice little wiggle. He's smelling other bunnies and curious. So, But this is Smoke Pearl Martin. And sometimes you just got to let him relax. Let him relax. Let him kind of just chill out for a little bit. He's an absolutely gorgeous rabbit. I, I'm so excited to be able to have him because we. this is the first Smoke Pearl Martin. And it was the color we were shooting for genetically. If you haven't seen some of the genetic videos, I highly recommend going and checking some of those out. Just so that you can kind of get an idea of, of what's out there and what uh, is available for for folks to work in. And if you choose to work in Smoke Pearl Martin, you're going to need things like Sable Martin, which is again another hard color to get a hold of. Um, you know, you're, you're going to have to have some things, some, some ruby-eyed whites and things of that nature because a shaded program requires just different bits and pieces and parts and it's so hard to find them in good quality type. Um, you get a lot, you know, you can find poor quality Netherlands all day long. Um, but to find good ones, uh, you're going to have to spend some money to do that. But you, you, you need to find, find somebody that's willing to show you how to do these things. Because it's just so important. It's just so important. Uh, before you go and, and say, oh, I'm going to buy, buy this rabbit, you know, I recommend people go and put their hands on it. Have the person that's selling the rabbit pose the rabbit for you so that, you know, you can find out if the rabbit is truly what it is. Put your hands on that rabbit as well and make sure that it is the quality and, and the type and the feel. If you, if, you're, if you go buy a rabbit and it is, is very thin and it just doesn't feel full and it's an adult, you know, it's, you're just better off walking away and, and finding, finding a good quality rabbit. And again, you can can work with these guys. And to, again, sometimes you can whoop, come here, stinker. There we go. All right. So what I do in here is I'm just leading him to get him to understand this is what I want from him. He's not going to be perfect. He's not going to probably compete with my chestnuts and otters and torts and some of the other colors that I've got. But this little this little guy, he's he's he can do it, and and he he's going to be a really nice. I love the ear on this guy. Uh, I'm really excited to see this color on the table uh, coming up this spring. Uh, one interesting thing about that, even though this is a shaded, genetically a shaded variety, it does show uh, sable martins and smoke pearl martins do show with all the otters. So even though it is a shaded, genetically created by shaded genes, uh, it is it is it, it competes un with the otters, and so that's going to be a tough class for a, a smoke pearl martin. Uh, same with silver martins and sable martins. They're they're just a tough class to show in, and 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 they're a hard they're a hard color, and it it really takes some time, and you really got to be serious about it and have the the cage space to to really work with these guys but after he starts he's posed a few times I let him kind of play a little bit and until he's pretty well wrapped up his 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 uh, session uh, I'm gonna go grab one more that's a little I have not worked with yet and and we're gonna work with this uh, this next one for the very first time so uh, let me grab one more, and then we'll wrap this video up, and then we'll probably do one on Himalayans tomorrow, uh, because we got a ton of juniors in the other room that are going to be going to show very, very soon. So 
we need to evaluate those. But let me go grab the last one, and I'll be right back. Hi, Mr. Cletus. Yeah, Cletus is on his couch playing. So what we have here is a, this one here is actually a chocolate. It is a very young chocolate. Um, probably about a week and a half to two weeks, week and a half younger than the, the others. And so we still got a lot of baby fur thing going on here. Really, in all these youngsters, they, they, they will lose that here in a few weeks. But this is the first time I've worked with this rabbit. And so it's this is this is still new. I've picked them up and, and just kind of worked with them, but as far as posing the rabbit, this is a first one for any serious posing. Again, it's just it's just a pra come here, little buddy. Calm down. Again, quality to type. Is this one? I this is one of those examples of, of top line. And again, we're talking about a rabbit that hasn't not even grown old enough to really start to represent what we want, but has the patience here to give me a short moment of a pose. And that's actually not a bad looking little little chocolate. That's not bad at all. If you can just get them calmed down. You know, I love the ears on these uh, chocolates. This these this group of chocolates has a little bit shorter ear than some of our previous ones, uh, and a little bit thicker ear than what we've had. I'm really excited about them. But again, this is just common daily things that you'll need to do, and I'm not saying you got to spend you know 30 minutes at a time posing with one rabbit. I usually give them about five minutes a day, ten minutes, and at most if they're willing. Usually five minutes is good. And she has, or this one has, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet, I didn't even check that, but but just grabbed one out of that litter. You'll notice on this one, one thing I, I, I'm going to have to watch with this little chocolate, even though I'm, this one is probably not the best one in the litter, but one thing I do want to watch is this spot right here, right behind the head. It's almost a little flat. A little bit flat right here. But otherwise, it does come around the hip really well, which is another area that, with the top lines being just a tad too long for my liking in the chocolates. Even though they're, they're nice chocolates, I still would like to see the top lines just a tad longer and she has a tendency to be kind of a slouch her boy girl whichever one this is now when I do get her this one posed it, it does have a decent top line again this is a very hard color it's not just a tough a tough color to get right but it's also hard to find them uh, with the the width of shoulder you know get this one in line as well. You'll notice again, front to back, we're pretty much straight. The width of the head is still pretty much the width of the body. And that is really important because it really tells me a lot about how the rabbit is likely to finish. And we're, we're getting ready to blow the baby coat. It's not going to be long. But again, practice, 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 and you will be successful in Neville and Dwarf. It, Again, find find good quality rabbits 
that you can you can work with good personalities if they don't have the personality and they're wanting to be just evil every time you open the cage door um, there it's just not going to end well for it's not good for the a the rabbit it's really not good for for you you're going to be frustrated again patience is key in working with any breed but it's really really patience is what it takes in Netherland Dwarf and, and we're a little bit of a sloucher but this is the first time I've put this one on the table and you can see um, like I say the front limb on these chocolates typically doesn't come in uh, to finishing up until closer to about four months old so we're still we're still a young doe or buck I still don't like this flat stop. This I, I really feel that this flat box uh, area right here in the top line, I just really don't like that. Um, it's not something that I like. Um, some judges, you know, won't won't look at that as much, but they look more over the hip. This flat area you see here generally ends up being right here over the hip, and so it, it just makes the rabbit kind of not proportional come on baby come on there we go sometimes just picking them up and letting them just fall to the table and sit uh, and and we've got this one actually right now if I wish you would have sat down just can I turn you I know you're just a silly one use a silly one just kind of again wiggle the rabbit just to kind of relax them a little bit you can rub the back of their ears a little bit that just kind of helps calm them down and again we've got a good decent top line I still like to say I don't really like this area but over the hip is very important that, that some of this will will kind of correct itself with age but again very very pretty color as always, I hope you learned something from this video. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we continue to do more of these. Uh, we hope to do a lot more of these this spring. Uh, tutorials on posing several different breeds uh, as well as we're going to get into some more color genetic stuff here this spring that will help you to breed towards what you're wanting for. And then I'm going to also be doing a series about learning about how your lines develop as well as dominant and recessive physical traits and something that will be really important for you in no matter what breed you're doing uh, and helping you pick the best rabbits for your future work and the ones that are going to benefit you the most on the show table. So until next time, have a great Merry Christmas. And we will talk to you all again very soon. Have a great holiday.